hijacked our buddy's muscle car. And we're out here test driving it, all in the effort to answer the question for you, which is, do you need a 64 Nova? We're launching a new video series on the Garage Fathers today in this video. You know, people come by the shop all the time because they want pictures of their car in our studio, and <laughs> you can't blame them, right? Sometimes when they drop their car off, they really want us to go out and drive the car. A lot of times it's because they want our impression of their car. Sometimes it's because they want a really killer video of their car, just to remember it. And sometimes it's because the car's for sale. We're starting it off today with this awesome 64 Nova. So buckle up, because it's gonna be a wild ride. Here at the Garage Fathers, we are such suckers for traditionally styled hot rods. And I would suggest that this car is actually introducing a new era of old school. And it actually perfectly represents the era that I was in high school in the mid 90s, because back then, man, the coolest cars on the streets had these brand new four inch cowl induction hoods. We had pizza cutters. You had to have pizza cutters on drag light style wheels, because if you wanted to be the king of your town, that's what you had to have. Now this car, let's be honest, it doesn't probably have the best paint job that you've ever seen. It's old and it probably wasn't the highest quality to begin with, but that really doesn't matter and I'll get into that in a minute. But you can tell that a little more attention to detail was paid to the inside. We've got these nice vinyl, black vinyl bucket seats with red piping and color keyed Nova SS floor mats. We've got some serious rubber happening back here, uh, a, a clue that that might be necessary for what's under the hood. Okay, boys and girls, this has got a GM Performance Parts ZZ430. That means it's got 430 horsepower, which makes it a beast. It makes it a handful, let me tell you. And he has four 11s in the back. 411s with a five speed with a five speed so you get the best of both worlds so you know how low geared first gear is right right <laughs> Now, as we come around the back, uh, you'll see that Nova's didn't have a huge trunk from the factory to begin with. This one's got a little bit less room though, because again, we've got a big uh, racing fuel cell. Great job on the car, Rick. Oh, thanks, man. Runs good, right? It does, man. It runs great. By the way, guys, uh, one of the requests uh, from the owner of this car was that we tune the carburetor a little bit for him. It was running a bit rich. And uh, Tommy here is something of a maven when it comes to carburetors. He can put, he can go through a carburetor like that, like like that. <laughs> As we come around the corner of the car, uh, you'll see that the quarter panel, you know, it's not the straightest one on any car that you'll find. But that doesn't really matter because I think this car has been carrying this quarter panel for nearly 60 years and it's done a lot of hard launching over the years. Now looking underneath, you'll see that it also has a set of Caltrax, which is another clue as to the intended purpose of this specific Nova.
Now, I don't want you to get the impression that this, that this car is only capable of going from stoplight to stoplight. It's equipped with a Trimic TKO five-speed transmission, which means you can take it to any town you'd like and start collecting pink slips. <laughs> if you're about to hit the gas. <laughs> now, our good friend Tom owns this car and he's been telling us for years that he's dying for us to go drive it. The most important part about this entire car is right here, underneath this cowl induction hood. You wanna give me a hand? Let's take a peek here. Now we can get down to business and discuss what's going on underneath the cowl induction hood on this Nova. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice big aluminum radiator to keep things cool under the hood, just in case you want to do a little low speed cruising. And we've got a pretty fancy looking fuel system here that I see. Of course, we've got some tall deck valve covers, which I'm sure are concealing some roller rockers to keep things rolling smoothly. 